Well guys, it's Craftsman DYT4000 Part 11. So, this is the old hydrostat transmission. It's kind of cooked itself for me fully swapping it. Bad idea. Don't ever do that. You will burn it up. But I got it off just here in the last hour or so. And last night I bought this uh, transaxle for 30 bucks. I thought that was a good deal because on eBay they're like 100 and sure. If it, if it works. It's a peerless. I don't know if you can see it spinning. It's kind of hard to see, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on the jack and I'm going to jack it up under it and, and see if I can't put my lifter blocks see if I can put these lifter blocks back in it and get it to work. Because I actually wouldn't know what the last thing I done on this was was lift it. I think so. Maybe that's what killed it. <laughs> it seems like right after that died. So I'm gonna set this on the I know when I probably swap or um, transmission swapped that old YT16, that was a pain. It didn't it didn't end it out too well. But then again I did rip that apart. I know. Uh, I realized what I did do. So when I put the when I tore it apart to fix it, I didn't get the shifter in right and it caused it to to the shelf part, obviously. I'm gonna get ahead and put some of this linkage in here. Let's see if I can jack it up under. Ooh, looks like I'm gonna run into a problem with the ship. But then again, we're raising it, so. That didn't want to be so bad. I'm so glad I got this manager, though. It's Go up a little more, and actually, I need to go down. Let me go. Oh, all right. Let me just go ahead and just get this in there, and then like ready to bolt it. Cause that's this is gonna be a while. All right, I got it put in there. Uh, the shifter, the shifter, I ain't got it hooked up yet, but it's it's enough where I could probably go ahead and. Start working on that. Now I have a I have a, a different size belt here. Let's look back out. I have a different size belt. It's much longer than the uh, last one. It's a, probably about two or three inches longer, or maybe I don't know. Probably longer than that. Time to drill out the holes for the new shifter. Center drill in that center punch hole. I'm doing that so when I cut it, it ain't a square end and it won't bust it. Obviously this thing ain't that all that good, so I don't think a little cut or a little cut is gonna hurt her. Alright, let me get my body saw. This is what I meant by body saw. Metal cutting, you know. If I break your hand if you do something big. Shut up a little slack. It's probably pretty loud guys, so wear your hair protection. Thank you. 
burn that real quick all right so I deburred this it's not too bad I, I might do a little more on it I just done a piece of sandpaper but um yeah I'm gonna go put this back on the craftsman possibly I don't know it's a pain to get on and off all right so let me go do this Alright guys, so that's the shifter. Of course I'm probably gonna weld like a, a big old nut on there or a ball or something. So I guess next I uh, put the belt on it and try to make a clutch. Because this is the manual transmission and we don't want to mess it up. Alright, so I screwed around with her a little more. I don't even remember where I was because this is like Sunday and I was filming Saturday. I don't remember what I was even doing. Um, so I took back out the transmission. I, I don't even remember where I was to be honest. But I don't have any belts the right size because one, I actually did pulley swap this to a whatever inch pulley that is from the big one that I have or had on it and I don't have a belt long enough to, to fit it but I cut an old YT-16 belt which I actually think is it here that's the Ford lawnmower I dismantled and I'll do it right here anyway this is the belt I circumcised and made to fit to fit that I actually bolted it together and then it broke again because I was testing it with with the idler set up here. Let me get you guys under there and I can show you what I'm meaning. Kind of hard to film like this, but this is this is new. I have a spring on it and that, that tensions it. It pulls it back or whatever. I might I might actually make it where it pulls forward against this spring. Get a stronger spring and have it pull against that. Or put a lighter spring here and use this spring in the front. But I don't know. And I have the the original clutch idler that and then the pulley swapped front I'm not sure how fast this will all go it might be a, it might be a problem and there's the original like setup this would be the transaxle this would be the drive and then blah 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 but I mean I think whoa, whoa sorry I think I need to put my camera back in the stabilization mode because obviously it's not as great quality. But I need something in my hair. A leaf. Mm. But I think that that was a good test, and I think I'll get a belt that length for this. All right, guys. So I uh, got a Kevlar belt for her. It's uh, 85 inch belt, half inch, half inch across, uh, about, I think, 17 bucks for that, that's not bad, I mean, eh, I think the clutch is pushed in right now, and you can tell it's pretty tight, I mean, it's, eh, it's
it's whatever though. I mean, I can add more idlers, of course, onto that to make it tighter. Um, I put some lights on it last night because I was test driving it. Because I just put the belt on last night to test it for this video, of course. Because I didn't want to make it like. I didn't want to make it. Uh, Make it and then have it mess up or whatever, but I think I think it's good enough now that I can actually use it. I think the air is on already. Go ahead and put a little air in this tire, the tire that goes down. The one I this is the tire that I blew out. Well, not the actual tire, but the but well, this is the tire I put on after that blew out. Probably enough air. I put that on there because that way, when I get mud on these rims, it didn't fill that nipple full of crud. Now I'm gonna. The clutch does work too, so yeah. Also, I don't have the shifter in the hold yet because I'm gonna have to make one. But that's. I think that's high. Yeah, that's high gear. It ain't gonna go anymore. All right, so. Let me put my camera on the tripod, and we'll go ahead and roll this sucker out of here. Well, of course, I have to turn it around. And yeah. That's just a pulley. It's not the trans. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.